Hi, welcome to Kristen's Kitchen. I want to show you one of my favorite things today um, that is really exciting, and especially since we're all kind of stuck home right now and we're trying to do more things around the house. And I don't know about you, but it's given me a little bit of time to do some projects that I actually really wanted to do. And one of the things that we have that is amazing for um, for organizing and and uh, solutions to your problems, if you will, um, is our modular mates. So there's three main reasons why you might want modular mates in your cupboard. Can you guess what they are? Um, first one is space efficiency. So you'll notice a modular mate, um, it uses, when you have a normal kitchen cupboard, it's gonna use all the space from the bottom of the cupboard to the top of the cupboard, and from the front to the back, and from the left to the right. So it actually uses all the space. So when you have boxes of things and baggies of things and spaghetti that's attacking you and all of that crazy stuff, you're not using your space efficiently. And a lot of that stuff you just physically can't organize efficiently on a normal, without, without some help. So these are definitely gonna be helpful for space efficiency. Uh, the second main reason why you would want um, modular mates in your cupboards is freshness. Um, cereal lasts kind of forever, which is a little terrifying, but um, cereal stays fresh, chips stay fresh, um, brown sugar stays soft. Um, let's see, what other things do you have? Oatmeal, anything that's a dried good has the potential eventually to go south. And the average American household throws away 23% 23 of the groceries that they buy every single month. And I know as everybody is home right now and we're trying to organize and keep things fresh, we, we want our food to last as long as possible so that we can use it and eat it because we're definitely all cooking more and, and feeding our children more and feeding our families more, right? So um, freshness is going to be huge right now as far as just keep making sure that every little bit of food that you buy lasts as long as it possibly can last and you have time to eat it all. Um, so that's the second main reason. And the last main reason is bugs. And that's the thing we don't like to talk about, but it's just the reality of life is that bugs. And um, bugs can't get into your food. Um, and more importantly, I know this is going to sound kind of funny, but they can't get out. So um, as a whole, you typically bring home the bugs that you're going to get um, from the grocery store. They come in the packaging and you can't see them. So if you buy flour and let's say that there's weevils in there. we In my side of the country, we have weevils, but there's... Oh gosh, depending on where you live, there's cockroaches, there's geckos, there's ants, there's, um, I mean, so many things, mice, all kinds of stuff. So um, regardless of what it is that is in your world that you might be protecting, uh, a lot of this stuff comes home from the store. And um, let's say you brought home a bag of flour from the store. So weevils, that's one of the things in my world. They, um, they feed off of the glue that seals the packaging. So like cereal boxes are they've got glue everywhere um flour has that big wad of glue up at the top of the bag um sugar has glue up at the top of the bag so um the thing about um weevils is that they can live for 30 days off of the glue off the back of a postage stamp so they live for a really long time so um when you take a bag of flour and let's say there were some weevils in there and you didn't know you can dump them into the bag right the weevils um, are in there that because these containers when you seal them are airtight they actually suffocate the bugs. They come to the top of the surface, and when you open them back up to use it, they're lying dead on the top. Now, that's disgusting, I realize. <laughs> However, you don't accidentally cook them in that scenario. You see them, you take this, you dump the container, you wash it, you start over, and all you're out is one bag of flour or one bag of sugar or one box of cereal. You're not actually out in an entire pantry because those little guys um, replicate at a rapid, rapid rate and they go out They go out in search of more glue in your cupboard. So they end up everywhere. I did a pantry one time where a lady um, went to do her, went to open her cupboard and she had a jello box full of weevils and it was actually moving. So that was kind of terrifying. <laughs> so I um, mean, meal moths, all of those kind of things. Um, modular mates are gonna keep your food fresh and they're gonna keep all the bugs out. Um, or if you happen to randomly get them in one, they won't leave one container and go to another. So they're gonna save you thousands. And I know people don't think about it that way, but your pantry has thousands of dollars of food in it because you only buy it in five to 10 to $20 increments a little bit at a time. But if you had to throw out your entire pantry and replace it all at once, it's thousands of dollars of food. And so once again, we're working on eating all the food that we have right now. And so we don't want to have any bugs. We want to keep everything fresh. We want to eat it all. So let me tell you about these containers. Um, they are modular mates. They are amazing. We've had these for forever and a day and five more days, if you will. Um, they're kind of a classic Tupperware item. They've had many different colors, many different um, lids, all kinds of things, but they've, they have, they're one of those things that has remained true for years. I will show you this particular one, although I changed out the lids because I like the black color. Um, 
I am um, in my pantry. This particular module is 20 years old. It's as old. Um, I got it just before, when I was pregnant with my son and he's 19. So just to show you that they live forever and they last forever. And this has flour in my pantry at home right now. So I just pulled this one out so you could see it to see that you buy these. It's a one-time investment. It's kind of fun especially when you've got time because it's legos for ladies because they pop together kind of like a legos so if you can do kindergarten math if you can count to five you can totally do this so i'm going to show you how these work okay so these are rectangular and these are super ovals we do have ovals and squares but i don't recommend those for your kitchen those are mo more for boats and campers and rvs or if you have little tiny um specialty cupboards like maybe up above your stove you might have a pipe in the way so you have just a small amount of space Ovals or squares are going to fit into that space better. Um, but boats and campers and RVs have little tiny short squatty cupboards, and that's what ovals and squares are for. Rectangulars and super ovals are going to be for your kitchen, for your cupboards, and for your pantries. Um, and you're going to get more of the, the better value is the rectangular and the super ovals because they you they're more you get more container per amount of space that it covers, if that makes sense. So let me show you how they work. So rectangulars, this is a one. So you can, remember I told you if you can count to five, you can do this, right? This is a one. This is a two. Two ones make a two. So they count like that. Here's a three. And here's a four. So one, two, three, four, right? So this is a three. So three plus one is four. And this is a two. So I'm going to show you the same thing with the rectangulars, okay? So this is a one. This is a two. This is a three, four, five. Most cupboards are a four or a five in height. Actually, most people can adjust their cupboards and make them what they want, but most cupboards are four or five in height. I find that the Super Oval 5 is the absolute perfect cereal container. So if you buy a normal large size cereal box, uh, this is gonna fit your cereal perfectly. This is my favorite one. And I know we have cereal containers, Step Wars had them for free years. They're not my favorite because they start small at the bottom and they get wider as they go up. And so if you stick them next to each other, you can actually get five of these in the same space of four of those because when the lids touch and then the container gets smaller as it goes down, they don't um, they don't use space efficiently. And I'm all about super efficient space usage in my pantry and my cupboards because there's never enough space, right? So one, two, three, four, five is how these go. So if you have a three worth of space, you could have uh, three ones. So here's a one and here's a one. I don't have it, you know, that's two. But if you had a three worth of space, it would be this one. So you can see where you just do three ones one more one and you'd be there. If you have a two in space, it's actually two ones or a two. If you have a four worth of space, you could have four ones, two twos, a three and a one, anything that adds up to four. See, it's like kindergarten math. If you can count to five, you can totally do this, right? Um, this particular set is kind of amazing because it shows all of the sizes and it squares itself out. So five plus four is one, two plus three is five. So these add up to five, do you see that? And uh, this one right here is a four plus a one and a two plus a three. So it squares itself out and gets very nice and even across the top, which I actually really like. Um, what would you do with these containers besides obviously a number five is perfect for cereal storage. A number two is my favorite for sugar. It holds a five pound bag of sugar. Num a rectangular number three is my favorite for flour. And the reason why is that when you dump flour out of a bag, it expands. Now I'm going to tell you a lot of people buy their flour and sugar in the bags, but if you have the opportunity to buy in bulk, and by bulk I don't mean Costco. Costco is not bulk, contrary to popular demand. And I love Costco, but Costco is restaurant size. Um, most people in their life don't need restaurant size amount of flour and sugar. A regular bag would be perfect. But in bulk section is where you can scoop and you can usually get organic or something like that for a much um, more discounted price and you can actually see what you're scooping which I love those are also open containers so the health department highly regulates those so you're actually getting a much fresher um, whatever it is that your sugar flour whatever so discounted price you're not paying for the packaging and the label those actually because they um, go through it so fast and it's heavily regulated that's actually really fresh because it's um, they go through those big containers really fast as people are buying them. So I personally prefer those. I can see what I'm scooping. I know what I'm getting. You just weigh the little bag. Like oatmeal, I can fill this. Uh, a rectangular tube full of oatmeal, which would be like a Quaker size full of oatmeal for 
I don't know, just a couple of dollars versus buying uh, significantly more um, buying the Quaker. And I don't need the glue that's all around the Quaker label. I don't need the label. I know how to make oatmeal. Um, if you don't know how to make it or you need the instructions or you need the carb count or whatever, you can actually tape the label to the side of the container with some masking tape, um, some packing tape, not masking, sorry, packing tape. And um, then you'll have your instructions stuck on there forever. These don't have to be washed very often because if it's like flour, you just keep refilling it constantly and then maybe... I don't know, once or twice a year, you wash the container out and then start again. But as a whole, sugar, flour, baking goods don't have to be washed all the time because you're just constantly refilling it with the same thing that's that's staying very fresh. Um, okay, what, what would you use a Super Oval 1 for? This is a bag of um, a one pound. It's one pound, basically. So one pound of split peas or beans or powdered sugar or anything that you would have like maybe a one pound of or just some. Or maybe you would have cocoa powder or... Things like that. Um, what would you use a two for? That would be a two pound bag. So same kind of thing. Split peas, beans, things like that. Um, powdered sugar. If you don't bake a ton, like for me, I'm more of a cook and less of a baker. Um, I have powdered sugar and brown sugar in this size container because that's all I need. People that really bake a ton buy their powdered sugar and their um, brown sugar in rectangle two sizes. So it kind of depends on what you do. And then whether you put there are people that also put their flour in these containers versus over here i'm a scooper not a pourer so depending on what you do that might be where you put you could put your chips in a container like this i put my chips in a bag of chips so it's perfectly in this container so we have a whole row of cereal and then a whole row of chips and one says tortilla chips and one says um tostito scoops and one says carissa's chips because she likes lays dill pickle chips um one says kirk's chips because he buys all of the um healthy chips um, the ones that are low salt and uh, taste gross, but um, I'm sure really good for you. <laughs> um, so depending on what you do, I like to buy the um, the Tostito, not Tostitos, yeah, Tostitos Cheetos that are the natural, but they really um, have a lot of air in them. So when you open that bag, you have to put them in container quickly or they will go stale really quick. So they need to be in here almost instantly. So you eat and put whatever else that's not in here straight into the modular mate. So these are my favorite, like I said, these are my favorite containers um, in a world that's gone awry. <laughs> this is a great place to, if you have some extra time, to organize your cupboards, your pantry, whatever, and to save a ton of money. So um, so buying them now is a one-time investment that'll last for the rest of your life. If you have some but don't have all, now's a great time to finish that project while you have maybe just a little extra time to get organized I do love that this is the one place in my life that does not unorganize itself. People go, oh, but my family won't know where to put it. I'm like, when you take that out, there's only one place to put it back. That's what I love about it. You literally can't unorganize it. When you take the cereal out, there's only one place for the cereal to go back to. Unlike the rest of my life, that room by room can very, very easily get absolutely disgusting in two seconds. So anyway, this is a uh, Kirsten's Kitchen. These are Tupperware Modular Mates and you definitely need these in your life right now.